This is a slightly different environment than we've seen in the past. The president uses different means of communication than some of the presidents we've dealt with in prior periods who typically went through the press. This president uses Twitter um, and, and can occasionally create some consternation and some disturbances in the force, if you will, uh, from time to time. Uh, did a little of that today. Uh, the stock market was down 800 points in a single day, which was a pretty dramatic drop because there are some concerns about how we're dealing with China on trade, concerns about the Mueller investigation that's looking into the president's, uh, the president's possible collusion with Russia in the 2016 election and whether or not he's violated any other rules or laws uh, that are on the books in his business dealings, in his personal life, or in politics. And this is happening at a speed that I've never seen in my entire career. When I started in, as a journalist in 1984, we used electric typewriters. There were no computers in the newsroom. We had paper wire machines that would deliver the news to us on rolls of paper that would print out while we sat in the newsroom or stood in the newsroom and waited for the news to come in. Uh, much unlike today where everything's delivered via computer and at, at hyper speeds, we used to close up shop pretty much at five in the afternoon. If you worked for a newspaper in the 1980s, your deadline was five o'clock in the afternoon. Once you put a story to bed, it, was until, it wasn't until the next morning that anything got reported on. So unlike today where five o'clock rolls around is just another hour. And it's just, you're just a moment away from another tweet from the president that might change the entire news flow for the night, for the day, for the week, we just don't know.